Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to my channel and uh, in this video I'll be talking about what I'll be taking with me on my two week trip with uh, Riders of Charity, Rock and uh, we'll be raising um, awareness and funds for um, Alzheimer's Society and Mind UK so in this video I'm just going to discuss everything that I'll be taking with me so mainly just the essentials I won't be in this video much, I'll just be talking over as I'll show you everything and uh, I hope you like this video and uh, please like and subscribe and let's get right into it. So, here we go. So if I start over here, obviously I've got my spare um, neck, neck, well, there is a word for it, now it's gone out of my head. <laughs> so obviously my spare neck covers, you can use those when you enter um, uh, shops and hotels. Some hotels, don't they like you to have um, a mask with you, but when I went around the UK back last year, they were absolutely fine with that covering your mouth and nose. I've got a microfiber towel, just in case. I've got this off Amazon. But, um, that's just in case of anything that I need. So anything I need drying down, that's it's really handy to have one of those. And in here, I've got my Black & Decker uh, basic toolkit. So um, in here, I've got all like, the spanners. I'm not going to get it out because it's going to be hard for me to get it back in. So um, it's got my spanners, any tools that I need to tighten any nuts and bolts up. And uh, I'm with the RAC, I'm covered, completely nice and ride, wherever I am in the country, whether it's Scotland, Wales, Ireland, or um, England, wherever I am in the UK, they will come out, they will see to me at the roadside, or they will take me to the nearest garage, or take me home, wherever I choose, and I'll pay £100 a year for that with the RAC, I highly recommend it. And uh, I believe Mark is with Green Flag, who's got the same deal. So I highly recommend getting cover just in case you do have any problems like tire bursting, etc. Moving on, <laughs> I have my um, that's my bike cover. So obviously again, I, I got that from uh, JNS. Uh, it's just a light little cover just to protect the bike from any moisture, anything that will um cause any problems, as such. So um, it also acts as a visibility cloak. So um, it, it's just to protect the bike from any any um, weather downfall, etc. I've got the high vis to go around my um, my rucksack. That's obviously right there. Obviously, I really highly recommend having one of those. They're about 99p in uh, in most places now in Tesco's, and that will go around my rucksack just to give me some visibility in case um, it does get foggy. I've got my. Uh, my strap for my crash helmet so that will go around my shoulders if I park up and want to nip and shot I'll put this around attach this to my crash helmet pop it around my shoulder I haven't got to carry it like a basket <laughs> obviously I'll have my rucksack that's going to have obviously most of my main essentials in there so everything you, you can see here will all be in the rucksack it'll be on my back all tied to my bike just so um that when I need to jump to shops, I haven't got to go rummaging through my saddlebags to get to it. So in here, I will have a pen. I recommend having a pen with you. You never know, you might need one. <laughs> and um, I will have my diary. So I like to write things in here, just thoughts of the day, what went on, just to write things down and uh, even recall something that, like in, in writing, just like how the day went, what I saw and the, the little everything around, really. I will have my books. Um, I read Vex Keen's first book in uh, my first tour around the UK, and uh, it's right here. I read it. I read that when I went round uh, back last year. So he released this book well about two weeks ago now, and so I thought, oh, I can read that as I go round. So I've got a challenge for myself to read a book a week. So those will be my two books I'll be reading. So if you like reading, take a Kindle or just take a book just so you can settle in at night in these it's my power banks obviously one's charging well it should be charging it's probably finished now see the lights come off when it's finished charging it, the batteries but these are the power banks i'll be taking both of them they're really handy to have one will be in my backpack and one will be in um in my uh oh my tank bag this is just to obviously charge up my phone my batteries for my um, camera that I'll be taking fi video footage with just so um, everything's recharging and this has got good good 16 hours on this before it runs out I tested it and I had three things attached to it it fully charged a lot still didn't run out and it had been 16 hours so it's got a good 16 hours in there 
I highly recommend having one of those with you, especially if you haven't got the attachment to your bike to charge your phone through your battery on your bike. Now, I'm going to take you through these. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that, but that little clamp is so useful because it keeps all your wires in together. It stops them from getting tangled and it just, it really helps keeps everything together in one place. Obviously just to stop them from causing any more damage. I mean, obviously that's my SD card for obviously everything I've got here, but it just keeps everything together. It, it stops them from getting any tangle, anything like that whatsoever. So it keeps them easy. So it's just, it's just to save you from reaching in, trying to untangle things on the spot. You just reach in, you grab it. There it is. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> so moving on. Now I highly recommend taking wet wipes because if you have got to touch your bike or do anything, you got wet, you got dirty hands from obviously doing any any tighten up or anything like that, any maintenance to your bike. These come in handy; they clean your hands off nicely. And uh, I think I've got a bottle here, so obviously a sanitizer bottle as well. So after you've wiped your hands with your wet wipes, that straight on afterwards, obviously COVID. <laughs> But those, obviously us ladies like to wear makeup, comes in handy, packet of those. And if I need any more, I'll buy it on the way around. But that comes really in handy when you're doing any maintenance and such. And it just saves you from having to try and find a toilet. <laughs> now, uh, I've got spare gloves with me. I've got thermal gloves with me on this trip. So just in case, you know, I've heard in Scotland, I've heard tales how they can have all four seasons in one day, even in the summer. So I've got those with me. I've got spare gloves. So it's always good. These are my summer gloves and I've had them quite a long time now and they're still good, Nick, even though they're a bit beaten up. <laughs> they still do the job. So I highly recommend having spare um, gloves with you just in case there is a lot of rain and your gloves haven't dried the night before. You can just pop those on and stick the others in the bag and dry them off later. Now, this is important to me, I don't know if it's important to you, but food is always essential, especially having bottles of water with you. This is my snack bag. It's 20 kilograms I can put in here. It's waterproof. Literally, I've had this in torrential rain. I've even, well, I've even tied it up and threw it in the bath to test it and no water got in here at all. Once it's tied up, there's no water in there whatsoever. So it's really good for the beach and it's really good for time to your um, motorcycle, especially if it's torrential rain. So all of my, wow, well, don't laugh, but these are really good, they're handy. They're very handy. So I'll have my fruit shoots in here, my snacks, and obviously I've got spare cable ties in there just in case of anything. Anything needs to be put on there, Titans and uh, straps, of course. Extra straps will be in there as well just in case of anything as such. So I'll pop those there. There's my fruit shoots, don't laugh. <laughs> they do, they really do come in handy. I highly recommend having those because once you fill that up at the start, trust me, that will get lighter and lighter and decrease over time as you use things. I tend not to replenish it unless I really have to, but everything in there will last me the two weeks. Uh, with the bottles of water and obviously the fruit shoots I'll replenish over time. But obviously I've got a spare bag to go shopping with and obviously in there I've got all my snacks. I went into home bargains, I got all my snacks for like a tenner. So that'll be my snacks for the whole two weeks. I actually took that with me when I went round back in October on my tour and I actually come home with a few snacks left, funny enough. And I was able to use this bag for, um, for souvenirs etc on my way home. So it did get lighter but I had a few snacks, it was always good to pack them. Especially if you're a chocolate fiend like me. <laughs> and, uh, oh, you don't want to see those. <laughs> Lady bits. Uh, there's my tank bag. I got this, this is, I got this off um, Amazon. I really highly recommend having one of these. It's really good. I've obviously, I'm going to have my, um, I'll put that back there actually. I'm going to have my waterproof trousers in there, which is here. I'll fold them up, put them inside. I'll have my power bank in there as well. And I'll also got this in here, which is a pressure gauge for the tires, just to check the air, make sure everything's okay. I highly recommend those, but guys, if you're with me, don't worry, I've got this, I'll get it out and um, we'll uh, check your tires. So that's always handy to have. Moving on. My toiletries. So obviously I've got my mouth, mouth guard, so I've had braces. I am, um, ah, oh God, my mind's going blank. So obviously my deodorant. 
toothpaste and uh, toothbrush is in there. My makeup bag, ladies, trust me, I highly recommend these um, packing cubes that comes with a, a makeup bag because you can put your bobby pins in here, a mi little mirror, comb, uh, you can put in uh, bits and bobs in here, so your makeup's in there, etc. I've always used that and it's never failed me. I can get so much in there, it's unreal. So, but again, I only take the essentials that I need. Hairbrush, don't want to see that. <laughs> So that's my hairbrush. I'll also be packing my um, my hair straighteners because you know us ladies, we need to groom ourselves. My shower bits. So in here, I have obviously my moisturiser, my shower gel, my loofah, and obviously my shampoo and conditioner. Again, that will last me the whole two weeks, and it will get lighter and lighter. And round about the last day. Once it's all used up, I'll just throw it all out and then it's just a case of packing this bag away. And then, actually, you know, all on. So, well, that's my waterproofs. Lastly, my saddle bags. I can get 40 kilos in here, so uh, 20 each, each side. Uh, obviously, you've got to evenly distribute the weight. Otherwise, if you go to turn a corner, your bike's going to fly away from you. You don't want that to happen, so evenly distribute the weight. Uh, I can get stuff in here, which is really good. I'm not going to show you what's in there because, again, lady things. <laughs> but in here, obviously, if I need to extend, I can because this little zip here allows me to extend it, which I will be doing at the start. By the end, that will just get that will get smaller and smaller. Because obviously, as I go on, things will um, be less packed. And I won't be losing as much stuff as I come on, but be on my way home. And what I recommend doing is getting a little lock. So I got these off of Amazon for a pound each. And they're pretty good. I got another two just to test them. My dad's a very, very strong guy. Even at his age, he's very strong. It took him half an hour to break one of these. No joke. And uh, so I highly recommend getting one of these so that you can zip things up, lock them up and... If anyone tries to get inside them, well, they're going to have a good half an hour trying to get at it. <laughs> so I do highly recommend these. They're very good to have. Just lock things up, peace of mind, and then just keep your essentials in your rucksack. And then just, you, it's just in case you need to pull over, go to the loo, as such. But generally, people very rarely, rarely go in here because they know all that's in here is toiletries and your clothes. <laughs> that's it. Nothing else. So, there's my t-shirt. I'm the purple rider. Everyone else will be in orange or in another colour of their choosing, but I went for purple because I love purple, being a girl. And I just wanted to put that up there just to show you, you guys, because it's a beautiful t-shirt. Thank you, Mark, so much for organising that. I truly cannot uh, thank you enough for that. Oh, it's always good to um, bring a spare waterproof little carrier bag as well, just in case. Just in case, you never know. But again, essentials only. And I've seen here, I've got my tops, my socks, my girly bits. I'm not going to talk about those. So on my way around, I always do my laundry as I go along. So the less stuff I have stinking things up and smelling, like dirty, like socks, for example, do not want cheesy feet smelling in there. That I might occasionally might fill that up on the way home, but I do like to wash my clothes, etc., as I go around and so I really recommend taking light clothing that will dry very quickly overnight and uh, obviously in here I've got spare jeans um, a spare waterproof trousers uh, I've even got a couple of like bits and pieces for like my pajamas in there so obviously that's my my clothing all in there I know a girl taking all that that's it <laughs> so I'll be doing my laundry etc as I go around so that is mainly it. I will be taking um, spare spare shoes. I'm debating on whether to take my new my new boots. I haven't bro broken them in yet, and they I did take them to Norfolk, and they did start to hurt me a bit. And also, I haven't broken them in as much, so I might be taking my rider boots, my summer rider boots, with me. So I'll see on the day. But either which, whatever them and then, oh, bleh. <laughs> Either one of those I will take with me, but it's always nice to take a spare spare pair of shoes to take with you, just in case. So just so you can change them over. And yes, I know they're heels. I'm a girl. I'm a lady. Don't hate me. <laughs> so it's always good to take a spare pair of shoes, just so you can relax around in. I will be taking my slippers with me as well, as you can see. And um, it's just something to relax in 
and uh, just to walk to the shops in if you don't want to keep walking around with your, your heavy um, your heavy duty motorcycle and boots. This is my uh, saddlebag covers and uh, I recommend bringing tuck, duct tape with you. You never know when you might need it. Duct tape saves everything. It really does. And that is essentially what I'll be taking for the whole two weeks. That will be everything that I'll be using. Trust me. I know it seems quite a little, even for us us ladies, but this, this is all I used when I last went away. And, and honestly, I don't think I need any more. I know myself well enough to know I won't need, need anything anymore. But um, just pack what you need. Do your laundry as you go so you don't have to have tons of clothes with you and then have like a dirty clothes in there as well. Mix them with clean clothes. You haven't got to worry about that. So I highly recommend taking those, especially the toolkit. And um, spare pair of gloves, spare pair of shoes, extra socks. You never know when you might need them. Extra socks will do come in handy because trust me, if it's a wet, windy day, and your boots end up getting a hole in them. It seeps in, ruins your socks, so you've got spare socks. So you can never have enough socks, as uh, Dumbledore would say if you're a Harry Potter fan. <laughs> so this is it from this video. I hope this helps. Please give me a like and subscribe. Leave me a comment below. And uh, I can't wait to show you the footage. I really can't. I cannot wait to show you the footage of this amazing, amazing ride. We've got such good roads coming up, and I just really want to thank... Mark for organising this and inviting me along this journey and uh, I will see you guys on the road so take care and I will see you soon. Bye! <laughs>